Hey folks, it is Sunday the something of September and um, I'm in Tokyo. We're off to the Moon Eyes All Odd Nationals in a little bit. So this is the uh, last time it's going to be held at um, a diver because the Olympics are coming in 2020 and um, taking over the spot. So uh, next year it's not going to be held there. They don't even know where it's going to be held. So this could be the last one ever. So. Uh, we're looking forward to it, lots of old Japanese stuff, lots of uh, modern Japanese stuff um, and uh, uh, the usual Moon Eyes mix of uh, randomness, so let's see what it's got. Here it is, the uh, Moon Eyes All Odd Nationals. We are a little bit curtailed today, there's a typhoon coming up the country, so um, things are shutting at about 12, I think it's about 11 o'clock now, so I'm just going to have a quick spin around. We've been here for a little while already, um, seen some great stuff. Um, I'll probably mainly focus on that, talking of which, this is absolutely fantastic. Um, love the centres on it. So, uh, yeah, the top bit here, is the crown reunion meet and then there's the uh, effectively the all odd nationals at the bottom so they're both sort of two small shows that have joined forces to uh, make a bigger show um let's say it's a little bit uh thin on the ground today because of the weather but um lots and lots of plenty cool stuff here so let's go and have a look at it We've got uh, two very different styles of Japanese customization right here. A little bit of jacked up um, slot mag action, and then over here for more of what people expect of uh, Japanese custom stuff. Um, it's kind of uh, a show a bit like that. It's got uh, it's got the full range of modern cars in the back, some of which are great, which I'm going to show you. Um, yeah, it's a uh, it's a nice range. It's a, it's a sort of range you don't tend to get in the UK both in terms of quality of finish sometimes as well. Yeah, look at all this velour, Hello Kitty-ish type stuff. This is mental. Love this jacked up stance. That's kind of 70s custom stance thing going on. A little bit of uh, lacing on the body panels too, although the lacing, when you get close to it, is actually skulls. So that's kind of crazy. Sometimes all you need to do with your big wagon is just absolutely slam it. Just brilliant. And then over here, we got some uh, shiny shininess, which is also brilliant. So uh, yeah, I now want one of these. Anyone in uh, the UK got one? I don't have enough money to buy one, but I still want one. The generation of Crown never made it to the UK, but I, uh, I really like the look of it. Um, suicide doors at the back. Um, it's got a sort of Vauxhall Wyvern thing about it, but uh, I really like them. Again, you're going to hear the phrase I really like them a lot in this video. Um, and then later on, we have this era of Crown, which is also beautiful and also weirdly Vauxhall mask in my brains. Um, so, uh, so that's pretty neat. But we'll get on to the pickups in a minute because I love the pickups. Wagon on Porsche Fouche. It's an awesome look. It's, it's a very cool thing to do. It's not a massive change, but it works a treat. In fact, it works so good that this person's done the same. On their non wagon. Roof rack for points. And a couple of uh, crowns that we did get in the UK. Coupe slightly rarer than uh, the saloon, so at least, although I think both are pretty rare at this point. Um, love the weird front end on them. Very cool. Good to see some Dats and Sunny representation. Certainly not a B310, which as we know is the best Dats and Sunny there is. But it's good. 
Lovely low Toyota Corolla wagon. It's a tiny little Mitsubishi thing. Mitsubishi 360 with its low on moon discs. And then there's this. This is one of my favourites of the show. That's just spot on stance wheels, fitment wise for me. Absolutely perfect. And then inevitable A86. Mm, everything has potential. As we say, uh, early Mazda pickup with a lovely uh, Datsun 620 next to it. And then this crazy Homer Deluxe, which I've never seen one of outside of a Japanese car show. And this is slot magged and 70 style. Very, very cool. Proof that not all Japanese cars are rust free. <laughs> The Nissan uh, Gloria, which we definitely didn't get in the UK. Having a good time with friends. That's what this is about. Beautiful Laurel SGX. Um, I believe there is one in the UK. Uh, this is nice Senna, but again, uh, needs a little bit of work, some rough repairs in there. Um, clearly, they spent a bunch of time on the engine and getting the outside a bit cleaner. Work in progress, I guess. And this here is a Mitsubishi Debonair, low rider style. Very, very, very cool car. This one's had a bunch of work done on it. The side skirts, um, smooth doors, all of the uh, air slash hydraulics. I'm not sure, I'm quite sure what it's running. Um, very, very sweet. A bit of sunny truck action, increasing sight in the UK for good reason. They're very cool. Get ourselves onto some uh, 510 Bluebirds. Uh, coming up, one of our favourite cars of the show. So just a great looking uh, 510, and then next to that is another one. <laughs> The uh, super clean engine bay in this. And then it's got lots of little custom touches on it. It's uh, slightly 90 style, like the mirrors and stuff all smoothed off. Um, very, very, very cool. So yeah, I like the difference between these two styles. This is my favourite shape of Toyota Crown. Uh, this era of coupe. Very, very much a desirable car for me. This is. This is my uh, wife, one of my wife's favourite cars of the show. A little blue pickup and zoom tubes and all the little accessories. It's a little Honda thing. This sort of retro style modification of modern stuff is pretty popular here. Two tone always works, never gets old. And this kind of thing, it's got the side skirts at the back. And no, they're very cool. Keep that old style with the modern modern cars. They get they've definitely got a distinctive uh, flavour. Crown pickups, one of my favourite older Japanese uh, pickups for sure. And then sneaking in here. Just low on white walls and polished steels. Really good looking wagon, it's always a good look. Slightly crusty around the edges, but not as crusty as this, which is pretty close to how they are when we find them in Europe. There are a few floating around, all left hand drive. And this lovely colour, lovely shape. And here is one of my favourite cars of the show. That's the early uh, crown pickup on air ride, polished five spokes, just beautifully turned out. Interior is fairly simple. Um, just, again, just nice stuff. And then, simple bed, simple fitment. It's not screaming about itself, it's just beautiful and subtle. 
and uh, I kind of love it. So far, one of my take-home cars, and then next to that is the uh, estate uh, version of the same era, um, with the Daisy uh, five spokes. Really, really good. Five ten wagon. Just uh, a good, strong look. This 94 Crown uh, actually has really strong fitment. <laughs> nice take on two different wagons. This is a Daihatsu, uh, done in a kind of retro style with the moonized wheels and such. Um, there appears to be some kind of mad light bar thing in there. Don't know what that's for. Maybe that does something inside. This is a Subaru. RZ, so it's another sort of modern, or well, very modern car with some slightly retro touches, which is interesting. Fairly stock Honda Accord with US number plate. I guess US DM style is um, all the rage. This crazy bunny thing, not quite sure what it is. This is uh, closer to what we expect to see at Japanese car shows. Well, it has the uh, American style number plates around, so maybe it is a USDM thing as well. It's all got very mixed up now. Then right next to it, the Subaru XV. All jacked up and uh, on BF Goodrich wheels. And this bonkersness. More extreme wheels. This is a nice touch. It's got a list of who worked on it and their Instagram accounts and stuff. So you can find the people responsible. I think it's quite cool. Definitely USDM style. Crown with a highly painted engine bay. More traditional Japanese style. Mark twos. It's got it all. Jacked up flame star. It's crazy Japanese. This is one of my uh, favourite uh, cars of the entire event. That's super low. I like this era of uh, high eight anyway, but um, that's absolutely on the floor. Um, good wheel choice, all smooth doors. You know, it's the little extra custom touches that I'm, uh, I'm really liking about it. It's gone, gone the whole hog, which is that's what we should all do. A great little Datsun uh, Vanette, um, a car that's uh, not super customised in the UK very often. Just a little bit of subtle work on it, really. But, uh, but yeah, it's great, I love it. And then we got the uh, Cantu Works Kanda Speed uh, car next to it. Actually, is that? That's a Carina, Toyota Carina. Very good. Uh, got my lady wife taking photos. Put a side wagon, a little bit of patina on that. And this is another one of my uh, cars I show, 720 uh, pickup. Loving the style on it. I guess it's a uh, slight USDM with the uh, DC shoe stuff, but this is absolutely first rate. Okay, we're running out of car park and running out of battery. So uh, let's have a look through here. We've got a Civic on uh, the long champs. It's a sort of traditional style. It's really 90s uh, style uh, Nissan Fanet, is it again? Very cool. We've got some low crown, which I quite like the look of. I like the uh, wheel choice on this. Um, don't know what the wheels are though. And this really uh, cool uh, high ace, I believe. 
Yeah. So nice. I like the uh, the colour choice. Good. The uh, sort of retro white wall wheel stuff. Really very nice. あ、え、ボーダーまでエントリーのなさきさまです。皆さん大きな拍手お願いします。ピラン。はい、このこの車を選んだ理由をちょっとお伺いできればなと。まずはそのまあ、4300あのらしいというかこのビープランのない行動あ